Pavel, thanks for for the clarification. And you are raising a good good uh, good uh, question. I believe that 5G is sufficient to support the needed uh, the needs. I can tell you that we do some work with OEMs and um, how to optimize the data flow, um, um, which also something that I believe that will help to, to make sure that the coverage of 5G is enough in order to really support all those mass uh, uh, gigabytes uh, of data that is coming from, from the vehicles. Uh, some of the, the optimization work that I can share is things like um, making the data flow from the vehicle to the cloud dynamic. Meaning, uh, for example, if there's a certain data set that is needed in smart city, transmit it when the car is in the smart city. But when you left the city and you went to the mountains, no, maybe this data is not needed at that time, don't send it out of the vehicle. Or um, adjust the data flow from the car based on the subscribed services. If the driver has agreed to share his data with predictive maintenance services and concealed services, only send the relevant uh, parameters, not others. So I believe that with the right optimization, a 5G coverage will, will be sufficient. Again, I could be wrong. I'm not an expert on the panel. I think there's also going to be some roadmap of deployment. And, and I hope, I hope uh, it, it it, it helps with your question.